Uh, Dr. Trecci, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, tell us about how you think mRNA can succeed here when we've seen so many try and, and fall short in malaria. Uh, first of all, thank you, Meg, for having me. Um, uh, mRNA technology has experienced the baptism of fire with the COVID-19 pandemic and the success of being able to develop a vaccine there. And in this context, we have learned, learned a lot how to use this technology to address um, difficult uh, pathogens uh, with regard to inducing a very potent and multi-layered multi immune response. And uh, we think that uh, this um, uh, potency of inducing an immune response can be also used against uh, the malaria pathogen. This together with the fact that uh, we could show that uh, the uh, manufacturing is, uh, can be upscaled easily and uh, development is fast uh, is a very good path forward uh, also for malaria. Well, another part of your efforts here in malaria are to establish vaccine manufacturing uh, production in Africa. Um, there has been so much focus on this in terms of vaccine access for COVID-19. What is the pace of being able to establish this manufacturing footprint there? And could it help with COVID? Yes, absolutely. And uh, in principle, it's, it's, it's sort of uh, the contrary. The COVID-19 um, vaccine-driven uh, uh, establishment of manufacturing capacities in, uh, in, uh, in the African uh, countries uh, will help to prepare for a potential malaria vaccine. And with regard to PACE, we try together, and uh, this is a joint effort of many parties, including, for example, the WHO, uh, the Kenop Foundation, uh, the African CDC. We try together to be as fast as possible and um, ensure that technology transfer with all its, its multiple layers, including, for example, educating the required workforce, establishing the infrastructure, finding facilities which already have the quality which is needed. It's important. Um, I want to ask you also about the, the COVID-19 vaccine that we, we currently have. Some evidence emerging from Israel suggesting immunity starts to wane perhaps about six months in. How are you looking at those data and how immunity is holding up with the COVID vaccine? Yes, we have to continue to, uh, to um, collect the emerging data and it is emerging fast. Uh, Israel has been one of the first countries, basically, which started early and uh, had a high immunization rate also very early on. So it's important to take the signals we get from Israel seri uh, as serious, uh, but also continue to uh, collect further scientific data uh, from our collectives, uh, other collectives.